We'd said it on this channel before, and we'll say it again, there's a lot of water in the world. This means there's a lot of places where creepy stuff can hide. These are 20 scary underwater discoveries. Number 20. Octopus Nursery If you were to hear that sea creatures like the octopus had nurseries for their young, that probably wouldn't be the weirdest thing you've ever heard because there are plenty of animals in the world, both above and below the surface, that have a nursery mindset. So octopuses doing it is just a natural option. But what if I told you that off the coast of California, scientists found over a thousand octopuses huddling together and around their eggs in the largest octopus nursery in the world? Chad King, a lead scientist on the exploration vessel Nautilus would say that it had never been discovered on the West Coast, in the United States, or even anywhere else in the entire world. An estimated 99% of the octopuses appeared to be brooding mothers huddling upside down to protect their eggs that they'd laid in crannies in the rock. And as you can see, while they don't look scary in their huddled state, it is weird to see them in this position given how we usually picture them. Another thing that's scary here is that there are so many of them in one single spot. Could you even imagine if they all tried to swarm at someone or something that got too close? The other reason that this is scary is that it disproves a key belief about octopuses as a whole, mainly in that they always seem to be the kind of creature that was solitary outside of basic things like mating. But if you get 1,000 of anything together and they aren't fighting, well, that's a very social thing, so it begs the question of what else do we not know about them? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. This underwater discovery scares scientists. Captured by a, a diver in the Indian Ocean, it seems to prove the existence of a bizarre underwater statue of unknown origins. There is no record of this being made on land, meaning it must have been made underwater. But it's so deep, it's impossible for humans to have made it. So who did? And how did it get there? What do you think? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. The Great Blue Hole Now let's look at something that's both terrifying and yet something that people don't mind to explore if they have the right amount of equipment. We'll rewind a bit though and explain that this is a blue hole. If you take a look at the picture of the place, you'll see that it is indeed a blue hole that is smack dab in the middle of the water here and looks very different from all the water around it. What in the world is going on though? Well, it's basically because this hole is a sinkhole and it's one that was left by a crater of sorts that's basically 500 feet feet deep. But while some would see a mysterious and arguably very dangerous place to go, there are plenty of scuba divers out there who have literally gone and ventured into the place just to see what it's like. This is part of the terror right here, because people going into the unknown like that without a care in the world, that tends not to go well for them. But surely enough, people have gotten hurt or even died in this place, and it's not hard to see why. Because the deeper you go into this big blue hole, the more dangerous and arguably perilous that it becomes. For example, there's a thick layer of toxic hydrogen sulfide spanning the width of the entire sinkhole like a floating blanket once you reach a certain depth. Oh, and during one expedition, a team in a submarine went to the very bottom of the hole and they found a graveyard of people who had died attempting to dive there. Their bodies still remain there to this day, believe it or not. So yes, it is a place that's an attraction, but it's also a place of a death sentence if you want. Number 18. Yonaguni Monument Now we'll move to something that's very much about how scary that it is, that I don't even know exactly what it is. Scientists and experts in the field can't really agree on a very basic and yet core concept of this so-called monument, but first I'll give you the backstory. The Yonaguni Monument is an underwater formation located off the coast of Yonaguni, the southernmost of some islands that I can't pronounce in Japan. In 1985, a diving instructor was giving a tour of the area when he wandered across it and 
didn't exactly know what it was. As scientists and various others have descended literally to examine it, they found a massive monument that cannot be truly defined by simple terms. So much so that it would be labeled at the time the greatest underwater discovery ever, and it's not hard to see why given how grand that the monument is. But here's the kicker. Despite us knowing that it's real, that many can't decide is whether or not this thing was made by man or by nature. And you would think that it would be easy to discern based on how it looked or even how it was shaped, but apparently not so much. Some swear that certain parts of it look like it was just weathered to look that way, while other parts, including one that looks like a face, was clearly made by man and tools. Some even state that it might have been part of a land bridge over 10,000 years ago when the islands were connected to Taiwan. The debate does rage on, and it's a bit scary how we all have all of this technology, and yet we can't determine at times what something or even how it became to be. Number 17. Bimini Road now, if you're thinking that what happened in Japan was a one-off in regards to it being a mystery in terms of the how and why that it's there, then you'd be wrong. Because if you go to the other side of the world, you're going to find something near Jamaica known as the Bimini Road. Back in 1968, within the waters off of the northwest coast of North Bimini Island, Joseph Manson Valentine, Jacques Mayol, and Robert Angovi encountered an extensive pavement that didn't seem to match up with what was all around them at the time. Then, when it would later be explored, there were many finds of rounded stones of various sizes that didn't add up, and when all of that would be pieced together, in the minds and accounts of many, it was found to be a road of some sort, and the Bimini Road was named. But what it exactly was, well, that's still a mystery that nobody can agree on. So much so that if you were to read books about the Bimini Road, you'd find very different descriptions due to people exaggerating what the rocks are like, how big they are, and so on. One thing that can be determined in the minds of some is that someone did something with these rocks, that it was not natural, and that it was proven by how the rocks were shaped. But to what purpose, none can truly say. Of course, there are plenty of other people out there who claim that this is a natural process and bring to the table all sorts of charts and data to support their theory as well. It's kind of perplexing, making you wonder what the truth is and if it isn't somewhere in the middle. Number 16. Colossal Squid and now for something that's truly a terror of the deep, I speak about the entity known as the Colossal Squid, one of the many squid species out there that's known to be rather terrifying in all the ways that matter, not the least of which is that we still don't know everything about it, and what we do know is pretty freaky. For example, based on estimates of specimens that we've been able to study, which isn't as many as you would think, the Colossal Squid is believed to reach a length of about 46 feet at maximum, even their lesser length of 30 33 feet is still enough to send chills down your spine. Just as important though is that their length is backed up by a weight that can be anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 pounds, making it the biggest squid in terms of mass. So we think. That's the thing, because nobody's been able to study them as much as they want, and nobody still knows if these measurements are indeed the maximum. If you look it up, we've only been able to catch about four of them ever since they were discovered in 1925, and that's not a whole lot at all. Equally as scary though is that we do know that they have the power and ability to make life difficult for those who get in their way, which includes their powerful tentacles, ink spraying, and their beaks. All in all, you can see why these creatures have been mistaken for the legends of the Kraken and such, because they are big, scary, and they look like they could take down a ship if provoked. Number 15. Underwater Crop Circles there are certain things in the world that raise alarm bells when you hear them, and one of those for sure is that of crop circles. Because when you hear that, you think of, well, aliens, of course, because they're what make them, right? But how would you be able to explain ones that were made at the bottom of the seafloor? Underwater aliens, surely you're screaming. And while I do admire the dedication, the truth is much stranger than fiction in this case. In 1995, divers noticed a beautiful strange 
strange circular pattern on the seafloor off of Japan, and soon after, more circles would be discovered nearby. The more they popped up and then went away, the more that people wondered what in the world was going on. Because they had not seen anything like this underwater before, so much so that it took a literal decade for people to find out the truth. It was a mating call of sorts, specifically the call of a specific breed of puffer fish that was only just being discovered, and they would indeed make these art pieces in order to attract a mate. Males laboriously flap their fins as they swim along the seafloor, resulting in disrupted sediment and amazing circular patterns. Oh, but wait, I'm not done. Once the piece is finished, the female comes in and inspects it, and only if she likes the piece will she mate with the male. And so if you're a bad artist and you can't even draw a stick figure, <laughs> you're gonna be forever alone. In the truth, we can't tell what's scarier, that the alien circles was just a fish, that female pufferfish can apparently be art snobs, or that the male pufferfish can be better at art than most humans. I'll leave it up for you to decide in the comments below. Number 14. The Giant Eyeball now here's one that might get your stomach churning just a bit, so you've been warned. If you were to go throughout history, some of the most scary things found from the ocean were not actually found in it, but washed up on the shore. That's how we found the first squid and the oar fish. But what would you do if you found something that was as odd and freaky as a giant eyeball on the beach? Hopefully your response wouldn't be to squash it because that would be a waste and it would indicate that you need to get some help with your anger issues. But regardless, when one was indeed found in Florida, it caused quite a stir. It was big, blue, and really did feel like it was looking at you, despite how it wasn't attached to any creature anymore. Thankfully, talk didn't immediately go to aliens, but rather the question of what animal it had been attached to. They were able to eliminate some suspects due to how big the eyeball was, but obviously that wasn't enough for an identification. Some felt that it was a squid due to its size, but the truth was that it was apparently cut out of a swordfish by an angler, and then that fisherman just tossed it overboard. It's kind of a lame ending to a potentially scary story, but you know, that's what happens on these things at times. And besides, just looking at that eyeball is still freaky. Number 13. SS Thistlegorm. I just want to start off by saying that's a weird name for a ship. I mean, who calls their vessel the Thistlegorm? Regardless of questionable names, the SS Thistlegorm is a shipwreck from the Red Sea that's gotten many people's attention over the years, mainly because it was a ship that was used by the British during the Second World War and had a whole bunch of equipment on it heading to North Africa for the war effort. But then it got bombed in 1941 and it sank. While this isn't scary in and of itself, you can dive into the vessel and experience just how much this thing was carrying when it was deployed. It even had a full-on steam locomotive in its cargo hold that you can be able to visit alongside all the military equipment that was lost. It's just scary to think that all of this was lost and never recovered. One could only imagine what would have happened if this cargo had been brought to its intended place or if it would have made a difference in the war. It's hard to say, and perhaps that's the scariest thing of all, all of the what-ifs of history that we do ponder at times. Number 12, Lion City. I've already talked about Atlantis earlier in this video, but there was something that I didn't get to mention. That was the fact that there are real sunken cities in the world today. Natural disasters and other elements lead to sunken cities in Egypt, Greece, and even India. And another one that's known in China is the Lion City. Ruling as an empire between the years of 25 and 200 AD, this city was one of the most powerful places in what is now China. The city was so resilient and important that even when China itself went through its many cultural changes, the city remained. Now, you're waiting for the twist, and that's good because there is a very good one, even though it is much scary and sad. In 1959, the Chinese government created a river dam project, choosing the city as its location. The valley in which the city had so proudly stood for centuries was then flooded with water, and the city became submerged beneath the depths. That's right, the Chinese government intentionally sank one of their most culturally historical and significant cities in order to help them with a dam. That's pretty damn sad and damn scary that the Chinese government is willing to just ex nay their history for such a damn thing. Because if they're willing to do it for one damn city, what's stopping them from doing it with another? Number 11. Shark Statue 
Sometimes people can't help but be people, and by that I mean both in a loving and shaking my head kind of way, because at a lake in Switzerland, divers went into the water and found something they did not expect. If the title of the entry wasn't a big enough clue for you, they did indeed find a shark statue, but not just any shark statue, one that was an impressive size and had a toothy grin that would definitely scare anyone who just so happened to come across it during their dive. Remember, sharks are one of the most feared things in the water outright, and most people have an irrational fear of them at times because they think they're all man-eaters when they're not, and they think that they actively seek out humans when they don't. So someone making and then dumping this into a lake with no clear good intention? Well, that's scary just because it proves that humans really want to scare one another in some very sinister ways. Number 10. Mayan City a sinkhole was discovered in the city of Mayapan in Mexico back in 2020. That in and of itself isn't all that scary, because sinkholes, well, they exist all over the world, and this one clearly wasn't recent. The reason for this was that the locals in the area actually knew about it and refused to get water from the underground hole because they believed it to be a gateway to the underworld. Now I'm going to get into the scary territory and I'm not even done yet, because as they dove down deeper into this hole, they also found human skulls, which means that the place did have humans in it at one time. Whether it was for a ritual or not cannot be fully said, but it would track with Mayan culture, especially if they really believed that this place was a gateway to the underworld. Number 9. Cenote Angelita Keeping the flow going, next up we have Cenote Angelita, another underwater sinkhole that you'll be able to witness if you're to head to Tulum in Mexico. But the twist with this place is twofold, because it's a place that has a natural curiosity in that there's an underwater river flowing within this hole. That's caused by the various elements within it causing the river to form and then flow. It's gotten a lot of attention because of that. But the problem is that the hole is very dangerous due to the presence of hydrogen sulfide, which can absolutely kill you if you were to get it into your system. What's more, divers have said that it messes with their masks at times, so if you go diving in that hole, you'll need to be very careful. Number 8. Pavlo Petri I've referenced the sunken Greece city before, but now I'm going to talk about it via Pavlo Petri. What makes this one so worthy of the video? Well, that would be the fact that this is the oldest sunken city in the world, allegedly. One that dates back 5,000 years, if its scans can be believed. And what's more, nobody found out about it at large until 2011, and that was after the BBC of all people did a scan of the area to get a 3D readout and documented the city in full. Leave it to the BBC to do everything for a lot of people. Yes, other people had documented it before to be clear, but it's the BBC and we like them more and they make great documentaries. Naturally, people have been studying it ever since in order to learn more about this ancient city and what really sunk in it. Number 7. Magna Pina Squid in 2007, an expedition to check on a spot of water by the Shell Company found something nobody expected, a creature that no one had ever seen before, and one that has freaked the heck out of a lot of people since due to how it looks like a supernatural squid. Meet the Magna Pina squid, aka the long-armed squid, and as you can see, this creature doesn't really look like any squid or octopus that anyone knows because of its angled arms. Those things can go really deep, and this thing exists 8,000 feet below the depths. But just how big does it get? Well, those legs can help to make it about 26 feet, and when you see it drifting through the water of the world, you'll swear that it's not from this planet. To be clear, no, Cthulhu hasn't found it in the depths yet. Number 6. Underwater Sculpture Park and now for something a bit different. Grenada's Molinaire Underwater Sculpture Park was designed by the British sculptor Jason Declare Taylor. But why put a park in water? Well, a sculpture park no less. According to the artist, he wanted to not only fill up the water with art, but to potentially help the local life by giving them a new place to live. The concept is known as artificial reefs, and they do work. But what's freaky here is how the statues have gone from pristine to worn out over time. You can see how 
the waters and the wildlife have affected everything, and sometimes it's not so pretty. But hey, he did put it in the water, so he had to know that this was likely going to be the result. Number 5. Train Graveyard Here's another historical mystery for you, and one that is indeed very curious for a lot of reasons. You see, off the coast of New Jersey, a spot of water would be found to have not one, but two rare locomotives just laying there in the water. This wouldn't be all that scary or weird at first, because trains have ended up in the waters of the world before. The catch here, though, is that not only are these rare trains, but no one really has any clue how they got there or even where they came from. The numbers that they have? they don't line up on any records. And while it is widely believed that the trains merely fell off a barge at one point in time and then sank into the New Jersey waters, that can't be proven either. As such, this train graveyard remains and is explored and dissected for clues as to what really happened there. Number 4. Orda Cave Orta Cave is a gypsum crystal cave located underneath the western Ural Mountains in Russia. What's really cool about it, though, is that it was formed millions of years ago and remains to this day, allegedly. Due to that, the grandness of the cave itself, there are many legends about the cave, which include one of a lady that actually lives in it. A photo campaign was even conducted in order to showcase the lady of the cave, and it's honestly pretty cool. But what's so scary about it? Well, that would be the scope of it all. There are rooms in this place that are the size of football fields, and there are multiple ones like that, and this was all formed naturally and still hasn't been fully explored, proving once again that nature can do wonders when it's left alone to work. Number 3. Truk Lagoon Sunken ships are plentiful in the ocean, but if you go to Truk Lagoon, you'll find one of the greatest importance due to what happened there during the Second World War. This was a place that the majority of the Japanese fleet was stationed at during the war. So not unlike what the Japanese did to the US, the US went and bombed the place during Operation Hailstone. It was quite effective, and as a result of that, you can find hundreds of ships and aircraft, along with other materials that were there that day, still lying in the waters below. While it is scary to think about all that damage and destruction that was done to the fleet, the location has now become a dive site so that people can explore history should they desire. Number 2. Zombie Worms now, before you say anything, you don't need to worry about an invasion of these creatures occurring, though it should be noted that zombie worms are indeed one of the freakiest things out there in the world right now, and for the most basic of reasons, because they like to eat what's inside of your bones. Yes, they don't go for the brains, they actually go for the bones, and they're very good at doing that, in fact. They have an acid within them that allows them to go into your bones and thus get at the meaty good parts that are inside. Thankfully, though, they only live in the ocean. Well, for now, anyways. Number 1. Dean's Blue Hole Dean's Blue Hole is the deepest sinkhole of its kind in the world today. Much like with another blue hole that I talked about before, this one is deep and it's full of dangers that don't seem to scare away divers for one reason or another. It might just be that they're dumb, but who am I to judge? There are also some scary yet beautiful sights to be found within the dive hole if you go down deep enough, mainly in that there's a sandfall there. Yes, as in a cascading amount of sand falling down deeper into the hole. Apparently it happens when there's a lot of people causing the water to move around and churn, and whether or not this is a good thing, well, I'll leave that up to you to decide. That's all from the depths of the ocean and the scary things that are found inside of it. Which of these things did you find the scariest of all, and which ones do you think are not as scary now that we know much more about them? Do you know of another scary thing in the ocean that could very easily fit on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comment section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.